Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for mo Monday, October 12, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So most uh, tech stocks uh, rose on Friday. It was it rallied quite substantially on Friday, and you can see the tech stocks that we're going to look at all of them ended up in the green. Facebook was the one that was doing uh, basically poorest at 0.26%. Uh, and it was Amazon that basically was the best one at 3%. But we're going to start off by looking at Netflix. And Netflix ran actually into resistance at this area here, which was previous, you know, previous highs. We have been in this area uh, twice before we went past it quite substantially back in back in in august and uh, or july and since then we broke down traded sideways uh, bullied up uh, increased up again broke down and now we're testing the same area again whether or not we break through this area it is uh probably unlikely at this point we we'll probably go higher to the to uh, to the uh, these highs but i do expect this market to uh, again break down and just trade sideways for this i just don't see um this market just completely boom to the upside similar to this pattern here um so a breakdown from here first of all we have the 50 minute week average underneath it is around eight percent away and then we have the bigger fall to the 100 moving average and that is around 11 and a half percent away so there is a shorting uh, possibility if we see a similar pattern like this a similar pattern like that uh, that that this will occur again however if we break these highs then we're going higher but this candlestick does not really reflect that this candlestick uh, reflects that we are going to go lower from here that we are going to turn around and uh, head for lower levels if you look at the technical indicators now if you look at microsoft 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 Yes, Microsoft rallied significantly on Friday. We were up uh, almost uh, one and a half, two and a half percent. We broke through this uh, this previous top here, and we landed on exactly this area, which probably will be uh, resistant. It was basically resistant back uh, uh, back in August and also in July. And it was only this area, uh, this uh, in September, where we basically were shot off. So we pulled back from here, and in both cases, we broke uh, broke down all the way towards the 50 moving average. Uh, the 50 moving average is just here, so we may see a pullback on Monday uh, before we go higher. It is expected most of the most of the indexes will pull back before. Uh, they go higher i don't think this is very likely that we'll go to these all damn highs eventually we will do that but uh, a pullback is a buying opportunity and the pullback all the way to the 50 moving average is probably the best buying opportunity that you can get if we break further down than that then the 100 moving average is significant uh, support if you look at the technical indicators we can see that our most most uh, all of them are really uh, bullish. The MACD is way over above, above the signal line. The um, RSI is looking really bullish. We are still not overbought. Stochastic is very bullish, and the uh, Bollinger Band is also at its peak. Now let's look at uh, Apple. So Apple rallied, but not as substantial as. Uh, Microsoft did, we are going to run into resistance in this area. So we, uh, we, th this will be a hard task to get through this area. But uh, the technical indicators for Apple are 
starting to look more promising. The MACD is above the signal line. The RSI is technically flat and the stochastic turned around and is now indicating bullish momentum. Um, if we were to break through this, then we'll go to these highs. We have another uh, resistant area up here. And at this point, if we break down, then the lowest uh, level that we'll go to is this at 105. So we mo most likely will go gradually to the upside. The 40 exponential moving average, the 20 exponential moving average, and the 50 will now be it becomes support. So we'll probably have a gradual, uh, gradual grind to the upside in Apple stock. Um, yes, a breakdown from here. The lowest thing that we'll go to is 105, and just underneath that we have the 100 moving average at 102 dollars. We look at Amazon. Amazon rose. 3% on Friday in Friday's session. We ended here at uh, $3,286 and we ran into resistance in this area, which previously was also resistant. We were back here, it was resistant, also here, and here we ran into resistance. So we may see a pullback towards the 50 minute week average on Monday session uh, before we go higher. A breakdown below the 50 minute week average and the two exponential moving averages opens the door to the 100 minute week average, which is at the oh, $2,997. And uh, yes, we may just see a small pullback before we go higher. The technical indicators for Amazon stock are very bullish at this point, both the RSI, MACD, the stochastic, um, and the Bollinger Band is indicating that it's at the higher, at the top of the Bollinger Band, but that doesn't really necessarily mean that we'll have a breakdown from here. But every pullback is a buying opportunity for Amazon stock at this point. Tesla, Tesla was up 1.9% on uh, Friday session. We have the 20 exponential moving average acting as support, the 40, and definitely the 50 will be um, support for uh, Tesla stock. Uh, we may see quite a lot of resistance within this area. You can see that we have been here several times before. Uh, I don't expect a parabolical move similar to this. If we move to the upside, it will be a gradual grind to the upside, pullbacks to the, towards the 50 moving average are buying opportunities, especially the 50 moving average are buying opportunities. Um, and the highs, we may see um, this market go to up towards this level here and then go back down and then grind slowly to the upside. The technical indicators for Tesla are not as promising as for the other companies on this list. MACD is previously, is at the moment, still underneath the signal line, has not crossed. The RSI is flat, but the stochastic is looking very promising. Uh, the MACD, you know, the Bollinger Band is also right in the middle. So, a break uh, through the uh, signal line here will indicate that we are ready to go to the all-time highs. Facebook we rallied up towards the 50 moving average and this candlestick here looks very promising these are the traders uh, the buying into a facebook stock pushing up the price and we may see a break of the 50 moving average on uh, in one of uh, uh, next week's sessions we will run into resistance within this area which was previous uh, previous uh, resistant and uh, that is in between 200 and uh, around 300 no, 265 dollars and around the three uh, 272 dollars a breakdown from here we have the 100 moving average at 250 as a significant support but at this point i am favoring the upside due to these technical indicators MACD is above the signal line, RSI is looking really bullish, and so is the stochastic. Uh, so 
we may see a small a, a grind to the upside. If we manage to break through this area here, then there's technically nothing stopping us from going to the, these highs. Google, Google rallied up towards the 50 moving average. We got through all of these moving averages last in last week's session. So at this point, we are ready to probably test the 50 moving average. We will run into resistant and again at this area here we can see it was a previous significant resistant it also was in the past a significant resistant so first 50 moving average we need the green ground uh, green candlestick above the 50 moving average and then get through this area here before we can manage to go to uh 17 uh 1733 dollars a breakdown from here uh, open up open up store for the um, 200 moving average which is at 1413 technical indicators for uh, google stock are um, really positive at this point very bullish at this point uh, so we will test the 50 moving average um, and probably also break the 50 moving average Hope you find the video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Thank you very much.